All right, time for another math easy solution. We're gonna discuss inverse functions and look at an uh, introduction to it. Uh, look at the notation and basically explain uh, what it is and it's pretty useful and look at the properties. Well, we'll start with a definition, big definition here. So basically if you have, let's say a function y equals f of x, just y equals a function of x, then the inverse, which is written as this, uh, f to the power of negative, negative one x, that's how it's written then this correlates to, let's make this arrow, this is the same thing as doing f of y equals x. So basically, instead of so like uh, arranging the equation so that y is a function of x, x is a function of y. So all we're doing is switching. Yeah, switching x and y. Okay, so uh, I'll go, I'll explain this in an example. Before that, let's look at the, let's make some notes here to make sure you aren't confused. So basically, Negative one is uh, not an exponent, so this means that uh, f prime, f to the power of negative one x is not does not equal to f of x, one over x. So yeah, it's not an exponent. It's not this. Uh, it's not a to the power of negative one or anything, and also it's uh, not derivative. Not a derivative. Derivative, whatever. Uh, for example, some write derivative like this, and this is called prime. So this is not either of these. This is power of negative one. Always write that how it is. Okay, so let's explain this through an example. Well, so basically, yeah, we're switching here. That's what the inverse is. So, what would do? I'll explain it as an example. Here's what I'll show you the properties of it as well. So let's say if we have y equals it's a function of x, and that function of x is just x to the three plus two. So if we want the inverse of x, this is how we would solve it. So first, we so we have y equals x to the 3 plus 2. So the easiest way is, well, you could just solve for x like this, or, yeah, yeah, we'll just, uh, yeah, you, or you just, you could switch the x and y. So we'll do one way, we'll just um, switch the x, or we'll just solve for x. So we'll, we'll be y minus 2 equals x to the 3. And then solve for that, this would just be, yeah, this would just be x equals 2. This is y minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3. Or this is, or you could write it like this, 3, y minus 2. So then, um, this is basically what the inverse is, but if it usually, usually they would switch the x and y, so just go switch x and y's. So that it's just a regular, it looks like a regular function. So yeah, so then we'll have, yeah, so that's, that's what you do. So you switch x and y, so you'll get f prime of x, or y equals x prime of x, equals, this is a different y than that, uh, equals to, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, 3 x minus 2. So that, that's, there's the inverse. Or you could have just uh, switched it right away. You could have also just just gone straight from y equals x3, switch right away, so you'll get x equals y3 plus 2, and solve it for it, and then you'll just get y equals 2 f prime of x, which equals 2, well, whatever this was now, 3 x minus 2. So now if you were to graph it, so let's, uh, let's pull out the graph. Yes, yeah, so if we uh, pull out the graphing calculator, let's just uh, graph this. So we'll go graph. We'll graph x uh, three and two. Uh, no, x three plus two. And also x. What was it? What was it? X minus minus one. No, minus two to the power of three. One over three. One divided by three. And so now if we uh, you just adjust the scale so it looks a bit better. So basically, let's go to this one. We'll just zoom in. Yeah, so what what this actually is, yeah, if you see it, if you better scale, this is actually a mirror image of the, a line going down here. Y minus, yeah, Y equals X. So I'll show you, uh, yeah, so this is basically how it is. It's a mirror image of it. And I'll show you here if I write it down. So if we were to graph it, uh, one equation looks like this. Which one was? Let's look at it this way again. So the uh, 
the original one's like this. So this one goes like this. And the other one goes something like this. It goes kind of down like this, something like that. This is, we'll call this is x3 plus 2. This is y. This is x. And this is, yeah, this is 3x minus 2. So basically, this one's actually, uh, for all inverse functions, is actually mirror image of this. It's a, this is y equals x. And these are just reflections off each other. So if this is f prime of x, this is just a reflection off it. Because we're just switching the x and y, the reflection off uh, of um, y equals x line. I'll show you, uh, let's say if we have, yeah, let's just, just go random thing like this. Let's say we have, this is x. I'll show you what I mean. And then this is the y equals x line. So then let's pick a point, just random point. Let's say we have a coordinate a, b. So we'll go here. Let's call this a. And then we'll call this uh, b. So we get a point here. So this is a, b. So if we get the inverse of it, so then the inverse would just be switching them. That's all we're doing. It would just be b, a. So we'll go, yeah, so, so we will go b, this, this one b, and then a all the way up here. And then this would be just here. As you can see, it is, yeah, it is perfectly symmetric according to this one. Yeah, it's perfectly symmetric. This would just be b minus a. So yeah, this is a perfect mirror image of it. So it is. It's, it's a mirror image of it. Also, um, what what uh, another thing is, if you have the domain, you see my other video on domain and range, the domain of uh, f prime of x it just equals to the range. Because now we're going to go instead of, so for every x value, it's going to be the y value. So all we're doing is switching it up. So it would be the range of f of x. And then similarly, you will have domain, I mean, I mean, yeah, range of it. So now if we go to the range of f prime of x, this would just be, yeah, this would just be domain of f of x. So I'll show you, uh, I'll go back to that, that graph here. If we are to actually zoom out way out in both of this, I'm zooming on the uh, y-axis right now. If we now zoom out in the x-axis, yeah, as you can see, look, it's a perfect mirror image. So now the, the domain, or the range here, it has become the domain. You can see that. So that's what I mean. So all we're doing is switching the domain range. If we go to this again. Yeah, so zooming out. Yeah, so basically, we have, instead of the range, we're looking at the domain. So all the X and Y switch, and it's perfectly symmetrical. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for uh, watching. And uh, there's, there you go. You can see that the range domain gets switched for the corresponding functions. Yeah, so the inverse is really useful because it's just reflection off there and, and whatnot. And also here's a little note, uh, not an exponent, so you have to be careful it's not a derivative or, or 1 over f of x. So, well, that's all for today on inverse functions. Hopefully you learned, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.